here. So I've got my glasses, of course. I'm about to do a DIY for Valentine's Day. Glasses on. Okay. Make sure you always have your scissors and your hot glue gun because you never know when you'll need that. Now, for Christmas, I had some leftover wreaths from the dollar store. These are from the Dollar Tree, a dollar each. They were just left over from Christmas that I didn't use. I'm going to use those both for this DIY Valentine's Day project. I bought these at the dollar store for one dollar, Dollar Tree, but actually at Walmart they had the same thing for 98 cents. So you can save two pennies there. At the Dollar Tree, I also got this beautiful love heart, which has a hanger. It was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. And then I got two types of ribbon, one that says love and one that just had hearts that was thick and pretty. So these were each a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use these, maybe one or both of these. Hey guys, my Lord Couture back here. So I got my wreaths. I'm going to start with those. When you buy the wreath, it looks like this. It's all closed in. This is what it looks like when you open up the wreath. So you need two of these from the Dollar Tree because it's kind of thin like that just to have one. So now you take the second one, you flip the front of this back and there's metal right on the back if you can see the metal there's metal wiring here so that's going to go inside of the wreath and then you're going to open this one up and you just open it however you like it stretch out all the leaves it's kind of like an artificial christmas tree it's an artificial wreath so you've got to stretch it out to make everything look thin and there's metal and it's pokey and it's fun and um, so you pull everything out and get it to where you want it and once you get it to the thickness that you like and you've got all the branches sticking out the way you want them and there's a lot of branches on this thing so then you take this wreath when you're done with all the branches coming out and you put the metal part again I'm going to show you put this metal part on the back where you can see the metal right up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. You put that on the inside of the other metal. So then you put one on top of the other with the two metal. So then it looks like this. It's a little bit thicker and you might still have to pull some of these branches out later, but basically you're going to use the ribbon next. Before I do the ribbon, this little love sign at the Dollar Tree had this little hanging thing so I'm going to take one of the branches at the top and hang it right through one of the branches. Because if you cut that off, then you've got nothing to get it on there with. And what happens is the glue gun doesn't always work on these projects. So sometimes you have to get wire or something else to get it on there. But I like to wrap this up into the branch a little bit, get it in there good. Because this is going to go hanging on our front door. For Valentine's Day and I already have some other decorations out there so it'll look really nice so you kind of get it centered like that okay then what you do is you take your ribbon I'm gonna use this thin ribbon first that says love on it it's really cute it was only a dollar at the Dollar Tree and you kind of wrap it around piece by piece and you kind of play with it and go around the whole wreath so once you finish this, I'm going to go around the entire wreath and you have to pull this heart up so you can pull the whole thing through. And you put uh, however much as you like. Make it the way you want it. And you make, you make it so that when you're going through here underneath like that, you can see some of the love ribbon. You want to make it a little bit tight and you just keep playing with it. Okay, so when you get to this part and you have all of the white love ribbon wrapped around the wreath, you're going to go underneath in the back because you've got it in the back all wrapped around and you're going to tie it in the back real tight because then you're going to start your next row of it. You want it to make it look very full and very beautiful and it says love so you want to be able to see okay, that. So this is the point we're at right now. I took the love sign and I tucked it in and the back looks really messy, but nobody sees that. You gotta tie all these ribbons in the back, tie them all together, see how I have the knots. It looks very bad in the back, but nobody sees the back because it hangs on your door. So now the next step, you're at this point, it's not even close to done yet. You take these little Dollar Tree for a dollar hearts, there's nine of them. What I did was I cut one. So they're pretty long and 
you try to cut them all the same length, you take your scissor and it goes pretty far when you cut it, so it's gonna pop and fly across the room like that. So now you have these little hearts. You're gonna take one at a time on the wreath and you're gonna stick them in wherever you like. I thought maybe one up top would look cute. At the very end, you'll go around the back and you'll cut the longer stems off if you can. So you stick maybe two in there like that and you gotta play with them and you're gonna stick them all over the wreath wherever you want and then on the back, they're long, so what you'll do is you'll cut it just a little bit so it's not sticking out so you can hang the wreath. Okay, so now you're gonna use this ribbon to make a bow and I'm gonna put the bow at the bottom of the wreath down here to make it real full and see how that looks. And these hearts, you have to play around with them a lot, trying to get them stuck in there the way you like, okay guys? So when you make a ribbon or you take the ribbon for the bow, you just keep folding it, okay? You just keep taking it and folding it. I like to do mine on the table. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me move this down a little bit. Okay, so you take the ribbon and you take it and you fold it and you just keep folding it like this. You just keep rolling this out and folding it. When you get to the very end, you need a little bit left. You roll it, there's a piece underneath here. You just keep rolling and when you get it to the end and you get it to the way you like it, one more roll I think, there's a lot of ribbon on here. One more roll like this and then what I usually do is I take this extra piece around and I wrap it around. And then you have to pull the piece inside under here through and make it real tight. So I'll show you the final okay, product. So you kind of play with the bow and you make it and then you're gonna have to glue gun the top part so it stays down and then on the back part of the bow, you're gonna glue that, you're gonna put the glue right on here and then you're gonna stick it wherever you want it on the front of the wreath, at the bottom I like mine. And then you play, once it's glue gunned on, I will show you what it looks like, the final product. You just have to play with the ribbon. Don't forget to make it full and fluffy, and you can cut these how you want on an angle and do it however you hey want. Hey guys, this is the final product. Now, I'm gonna take a photo of it so you can see it at the end hanging on our front door. And it's a little messy in the back, like I said, with these sticks sticking out, but you can hot glue, go the glue, glue, you can hot glue gun those on. Oh, can't get my words straight today. You can hot glue gun these little hearts on in the back if you need to, okay? If not, just leave them loose, and I will show you the final product in a photo on our front door. Happy Valentine's Day early. Take care. God bless. Hey guys, here's my final product of my Valentine's Day love wreath. It turned out really well. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys make one. It was only $6 to make. Great finds. Very cheap. Dollar Tree. Shout out to Dollar Tree. Happy Valentine's Day. Remember to love one another and God bless. Take care.